Dear learners, I am Siba. We are moving to lesson 4, Accounting for Business Transactions. In this lesson, we will study the meaning of source documents and the preparation of accounting vouchers. Accounting process begins with origin of business transactions and it is followed by analysis of such transactions. Now you should understand what is a business transaction. A business transaction involves exchange of values between two parties. That is a transaction which involves exchange of values between two parties. Every transaction involves two aspects. One is the giving aspect. Another is the taking aspect. So, Giving aspect will be credited and taking aspect will be debited. Business transactions are exchange of goods or services between two parties. The effect of these transactions are recorded in two accounts. First effect will be recorded in one account and the next effect will be recorded in the Second account, identify whether these are business transactions or non-business transactions. Manav commences business with cash rupees 2 lakh. Definitely, it is expressing everything in terms of money and it is relating to a business. So, it is a business transaction. Then, he deposited cash into bank worth rupees 1,60,000. Here also, Manav has started business and deposited cash. So, the amount of cash is also mentioned in terms of money. So, it is a business transaction. He purchased goods for cash rupees 25,000. So, this is also a business transaction because he is purchasing goods for business. Here are some more Transactions identify whether it is a business or non-business transaction. Manav took out cash from the shop and handed over to his wife for purchasing household goods worth rupees 3000. Purchasing is done for his house. So it is not relating to business. So it is a non-business transaction. He attended a family function and got a gift worth rupees 1,500. This is a non-business transaction because it is not related to business. Manav attended a family function. So, not related to business. So, non-business transaction. He paid monthly salary to his business employees rupees 3,000. He paid monthly salary to his business employees means it is a business transaction. Next, we have to study source documents because this is a proof for recording various transactions in the business. All business transactions are based on documentary evidence. A document which provides evidence of the transaction is called source document or a voucher. Example of source documents, cash memo, invoice, receipt. Cash memo is received when there is a cash sales. When there is a sale of goods on credit, invoice will be there as a source document. When cash payment is made, receipt will be there as a source document. Source document is the primary evidence in support of a transaction. And source document is the first record prepared for a transaction. Basis for entries in the books of account is also source document. Source documents like voucher will be made for Petty cash expenses or petty expenses. All documents 
are kept in a separate file in chronological order and serially numbered. So, in the case of source documents also, it is kept like that. All recording in the books of accounts is done on the basis of accounting voucher that is source documents. Voucher. So, now we have studied transaction source document. Now, moving to voucher. Voucher is a documentary evidence in support of a transaction. It is a document to record the accounting transaction. A transaction with one debit and one credit is a simple transaction and voucher is prepared for such transactions. Such a voucher is known as transaction voucher. Accounting vouchers are the written documents containing the analysis of business transactions for accounting and recording purpose. Accounting vouchers are prepared by the accountant and an authorized person will countersign it. What are the features of accounting vouchers? It is a written document. It is prepared on the basis of evidence of the transaction. Accounting vouchers contain an analysis of a transaction. That is, which account has to be debited and which has to be credited. Earlier I have mentioned you every transaction has two aspects. One aspect and another aspect giving and taking aspect. So, one is debited and one is credited. Vouchers, usually accounting vouchers are prepared by an accountant and countersigned by the authorized signatory. We have cash vouchers and non-cash voucher or transfer voucher. That is the type of voucher. Cash voucher, non-cash voucher. Under cash voucher, we have debit voucher and credit voucher. Non-cash voucher can otherwise be called as transfer voucher. Debit voucher. These vouchers are prepared for recording transactions involving cash payments only. In all cash payments, one aspect will be the cash. Other aspect will be party to whom the payment is made or expense or item of property for which payment is made. Cash payments are made in which cases? It is made when there is an expense. When there is repayment of loan, cash payment is made. When goods are purchased, cash is paid. When assets are purchased, cash is paid. Here is a format of debit voucher. Here you have to write the firm name, debit voucher, voucher number, date, debit account, amount, credit account. Then in different columns, serial number, account name, amount, narration. Signed or prepared by the accountant, countersigned by the authorized signatory. Here is a question to prepare debit voucher. On September 21, 2014, Messrs. Mohit Chemicals paid rupees 40,000 in cash and balance amount of rupees 160,000 by bankers check to HT Chemicals Limited. So, name of the organization Mohit Chemicals as top. Then debit voucher, voucher number, debit account, amount, 2 lakh, date, credit account. Cash worth rupees 40,000 is paid and remaining from rupees 2 lakh that is 40,000 will be deducted from 2 lakh. You will get 1 lakh 60,000 in the form of check. So, Cash and bank 
cash 40,000, bank 160,000. Prepared by the accountant, so signed by him. Countersigned by authorized signatory. Another type of debit voucher you can prepare is in this format. For that, I have prepared another question. Following transactions took place in Messrs. Tarun retailers. Prepare debit voucher. 2014 January 1st bought materials for cash wide cash memo number 20 rupees 17,200. January 5 wages paid for the month of December 2013 wide wage sheet number 35 rupees 5,000. So, first transaction purchase goods. So, name of the organization, voucher number, date and you will write debit purchases account purchase goods for cash so purchases account debit to cash one aspect is cash and another aspect is purchases so you will write only in the debit voucher the item to be debited so debit name of the account to be debited purchases account amount in the amount column narration will be written after the name of the account to be debited Signed by the accountant and countersigned by the manager or authorized person. Wages paid, second transaction of this organization. So, Messrs. Tarun retailers, voucher number, date. Then debit, wages account debit to cash, that is the entry. So, we will write the name of the account to be debited. Debit, wages account, amount in the amount column. Narration, after writing the Title of the account to be debited. Signed by the accountant and countersigned by the manager. Now coming to another type of voucher that is also a cash voucher that is credit voucher. These vouchers are prepared for recording transactions involving cash receipts only. In all cash receipts, one aspect will be cash. Other aspect will be Party from whom the cash is received or revenue on account of which cash is received. So, in the case of debit voucher and in the case of credit voucher, one aspect is cash. Debit voucher is prepared for cash payments. Credit voucher is prepared for cash receipts. Cash receipts are accepted on account of which of the following items? When revenue is coming, cash is coming inside the business, so cash receipt is there. When income is there, cash is receiving by the business. When there is cash sale of goods, when goods are sold, cash will be coming inside the business. Cash sale of assets, when assets are sold, cash will come inside the business. When debtors are giving money, then cash will be coming inside the business. So, cash receipt from debtors. Here is another format for preparing credit voucher and a question. Prepare credit voucher from the source vouchers of Messrs. MK Computers, Pashchim Vihar, Delhi, based on the following transactions. May 5th, sold hard disk. For cash, white cash memo number 72,000 rupees. May 16, sold old computer monitor for cash, white cash memo number 34 rupees 13,000. Cash sales. When sales are done, cash will come inside the business, cash account debit to sales. So, credit sales account, amount 72,000. Writing the name of the organization, MK Computers, Pashim Vihar, Delhi. Then, voucher number and date on the top. Then, in the second line, you will write credit and the title of the account to be credited. That is, sales account. Amount in the amount column. Prepared by the accountant. Signed by the manager. Sold old computers. That is another transaction. When Computers are sold, cash will come inside the business. So, cash account debit to old computer monitors. Name of the organization, MK Computers, Pashim Vihar, Delhi. Voucher number, you have to write 
date in the date side and then in the next line you had to write the name of the account to be credited. Transaction is cash debit to old computer monitor. So, you have to write the name of the account to be credited as old computer monitor. Give a brief narration after this within the brackets and write the amount in the amount column. Signed by the accountant and prepared by the manager. With the expansion of business, the role of credit transaction is increasing at a fast pace. For recording these credit transactions, a voucher is prepared as a transfer voucher. Now we have studied cash voucher and transfer voucher or non-cash voucher. Cash voucher under that we have included debit voucher and credit voucher. Coming to transfer voucher. It is prepared to record non-cash transactions of the business. What all non-cash transactions will occur? When there is a credit purchase, that is cash is not going outside the business or coming inside the business. Credit sales, here also cash factor is not at all coming in that transaction. Return of goods sold, goods are going no mentioning of the cash, so this can be included in transfer voucher. Then return of goods purchased on credit. Here also cash is not at all included here, so it can be included in transfer voucher. Depreciation on assets, depreciation debit to asset. Here also cash is not involved, so included as a transfer voucher. Bad debt. So, these are the items that you can use in the transfer voucher or you can record in transfer vouchers. Prepare transfer voucher of Sunny Garments, Kanpur from the source vouchers based on the following transactions. In 2014, January 3rd, purchase goods from Messrs. Jim and Johnny, white bill number 20, rupees 47,000. January 8th, sold goods to Messrs. Sitaram. White bill number 4171 rupees 13980. So, purchase goods from a party here, they have not mentioned this is a cash transaction, this is a credit transaction, so it will be recorded only in the transfer voucher. Sold goods to Messrs. Sitara. Here also cash is not at all mentioned, so it is a credit transaction. So, recorded in the transfer voucher. First transaction will be recorded in this way. Name of the organization that is Sunny Garments Kanpur as heading, voucher number and date. After that, in the second line, debit. Title of the account to be debited will be written here. That is purchases account. Goods are purchased from Messrs. Jim and Johnny. So, you are debiting purchases account and you are crediting Messrs. Jim and Johnny's account. So, in the third line, you will write credit Messrs. Jim and Johnny. That is the name of the account to be credited. A amount in the amount column. 47,000 rupees. That is goods are purchased worth rupees 47,000 on credit from Jim and Johnny. After this, Narration will be written within the brackets and in the next line, it will be signed by the accountant and countersigned by the authorized person, usually manager. One more transaction I have given you, credit sales to Sita Ram. Here also name of the organization will be written in the transfer voucher first. Sunny Garments, Kanpur. Then voucher number and date. As it is a credit transaction, you have to record both the debit and credit aspects. Credit sales to Messrs. Sitaram. Entry will be like this, Messrs. Sitaram, debit to sales. So, in the second line, you will write debit Messrs. Sitaram account. That is the title of the account to be debited in the second line and amount in the respective column. Then in the third line, 
credit sales account that is the name of the account to be credited is rupees 13980 so entry will be like this mrs sitaram debit to sales after writing the name of the account to be credited a brief narration of the transaction is also needed within the brackets and amount in the amount column here is the credit transaction worth rupees 13980 and this document is also prepared by the accountant so signed by him and countersigned by the authorized person that is the manager of that organization. So dear learners, we have studied the meaning of source documents and accounting vouchers in this session. We also got an idea relating to the preparation of accounting vouchers, both cash voucher and transfer voucher. Thank you.